What's going on my people? It's Tony from Food Sesh and we're back at it with another one. So as you can see, I decided to go to Jimmy John's to try the firecracker feast that just came out. Now the firecracker feast is pretty cool because it's not only one of their new meals, but it comes with new items in it that you can get separately. But if you get it combined as a feast, you pretty much get to try the whole new lineup in one bundle. The firecracker feast consists of the firecracker wrap, firecracker jimmy chips, confetti cookie sandwich, and a drink. So the firecracker wrap itself contains turkey, salami, ghost pepper cheese, crushed firecracker jimmy chips, garlic aioli, jimmy peppers, lettuce, onion, tomato, mayo, oil and vinegar, and a red jalapeno tortilla wrap. And you also get the new firecracker jimmy chips, which are sweet and savory jimmy chips with a strong kick of red pepper heat. And the other new item, which I'm kind of excited for this one, is the confetti cookie sandwich, which is a sugar cookie sandwich with cream filling and red, white, and blue sprinkles. So check it out there, guys. If you pull it up on the app, it'll show you everything right there. So I got the firecracker feast, that's it on the top, and it shows you what everything is, and as you can see, everything is new, guys. So I have it right here. We got that big bag of Jimmy John's, you already know. So we got the firecracker chips. Check that out, that looks pretty cool. Now, it was a longer wait when I went. It was really busy and the, and the guy was really cool. Shout out to the manager there. He gave me a free peppermint chocolate cookie, which I'm not gonna review, but I got this for free. So that looks really cool there. We got the confetti cream cookie right here, which looks really cool. Check that out, guys. It's not an ice cream sandwich, which I thought it was. It does look like an ice cream sandwich, but it's just vanilla cream in there. And so far, this is looking really good. And of course, I'm gonna review this. So stick around towards the end because that's when I'm gonna do this. Like you already know, save dessert for last. Now, before I review the firecracker wrap, I'm gonna review a sandwich that I was able to get for free. Now the last time I went to Jimmy John's and I tried the deliciously dope dime bag combo, I did it through the app and because that was my first purchase, I was able to get a sub the next time I went to Jimmy John's for free. And the sub that I got was the classic BLT because nowadays it's hard to find a good BLT unless you make your own. You either get old fatty bacon or they just don't give you enough bacon or the bread is not right or the lettuce and tomatoes is not right. And basically in order for a BLT to be a good sandwich, those simple ingredients all need to be working together. If not, the BLT will be bad. So let's open this bad boy up and see if the BLT from Jimmy John's is worth it. Now, so far, it looks pretty good. It looks like you have some decent bacon, lettuce, tomatoes. Let's open it up. Okay, they do load you up. It has bacon all the way down. It doesn't look like the crispiest bacon, but BLTs, the cold ones at least, the bacon's usually already cold, so don't expect hot, a hot BLT. So I'm gonna cut this bad boy in half, and then we're gonna see whether it's good or not. So guys. I cut the BLT in half, as you can see. It has a lot of lettuce, a little bit of tomato, and not a ton of bacon, but the bacon does go across the whole thing. I'm gonna say they give you like one, two, three. They do give you like four strips, and it does run down the whole sandwich. So I think right here is a good bite. There is some tomato. And it's not the best bacon. It's like cold bacon that's already pre-cooked. I believe Jersey Mike's does it the same way. So they don't make the bacon on the spot. And it's not like super crispy, but it doesn't look like the worst bacon. So let's see guys if this is gonna be good. Does it have mayonnaise on it? Cause it's supposed to have mayonnaise. Okay, it does have the mayo. So let's get it guys. The classic BLT from Jimmy John's, Big Bite, cheers. So I took another bite after the first bite and that's like halfway down the sandwich and it was actually pretty decent. The bacon is not as crispy as I would like it, 
but it's actually pretty good. It has good flavor and it's not really fatty. The tomatoes, the lettuce are fresh, and the star of the show on this bad boy is the bread. Like the bread goes really good with everything. It has a decent amount of mayo without being too much. This is actually pretty decent for a chain fast food place. Not many of them have BLTs. And I think if you're just looking for something on the run real quick, I think this is pretty decent. Of course, it's not gonna be as good as the BLT that you make home, but I think this is better than the ones that you get here in these delis in NYC. So as far as score on this, I'm gonna give this one above average 7.1 out of 10. And I would most likely get this BLT again. If I'm in the mood for a BLT and I'm near Jimmy John's, I'll definitely pick this up for $8.99. You can't go wrong. This is a hit for me. I would get it again. So there it is, guys, the Jimmy John's BLT. So now let's move on to this firecracker feast. So I finished the eight inch BLT sandwich from Jimmy John's. And like I said, it was pretty good. And for free, it tasted even better. So make sure you download the app. So we're gonna start with the firecracker Jimmy chips. Now it says in the back, sweet and savory flavors with red pepper heat. Add it to our classic Jimmy Chips made with real salt, 100% peanut oil, and thick sliced 100 lovingly cooked potatoes. So dig in. Our Jimmy Chips are tasty and extra crunchy, just like they ought to be. And if you want to read that, it's right there. And for my number crunchers, there goes the ingredients and the nutritional facts right there. So let's open these bad boys up and see what's good, guys. Let's try to open the bag nice and neat. They don't smell too fiery, which is good. They look really fiery and red. So let's pull one out to see what it looks like. So it looks like your typical hot flaming chip. That's what the other side looks like. So let's see what it tastes like. It says that they're sweet and spicy, so that I don't think that these are gonna be like burn your mouth, but let's get it, guys, cheers. These are pretty good. The spiciness does creep up. Mm. Oh yeah. These are sweet when you first start eating them, but that spiciness definitely starts to pick up. So these are definitely spicy. If you don't like spicy chips or spicy foods in general, I would probably pass on these. These are definitely not gonna be for everybody. And now I'm curious, how spicy is this wrap gonna be? Because the wrap, they put these chips in it and it's wrapped in a firecracker tortilla. So let's see guys, we're gonna eat one more and then I'm gonna give you a score and whether I think these are a hit or miss, let's get it guys. So I had a couple of more chips and like I said before, it starts off sweet and then it just hits you with that heat out of nowhere. It's nothing too crazy where you're gonna need your drink I didn't need to take a sip of anything. I didn't drink anything yet. But that heat definitely does linger for a couple of minutes. It does get a little milder, but I'm still tasting that heat in the back of my tongue. Nothing too crazy. If you have a drink or if you have something else on the side, it'll go away. But if you're not into spicy foods, you're probably not gonna like these, so I would stay away from these. But as far as me, I think these are a hit. If you're looking for a spicy chip that's a little different and has a little sweet tang, I would definitely get the Firecracker Jimmy Chips. And as far as score, I'm going to give this above average 7.2 out of 10. And yeah, these are good guys. If you're looking for something different, check out the Firecracker Chips. If you don't want the whole Firecracker Feast, you can just get the chips by itself. So now guys, what we're really here for is this Firecracker Wrap. So there it is right there, and this thing is heavy. It's big, and that's a good sign right there. So let's see what it looks like, guys. We're gonna open this bad boy up, and we're gonna just dig in, because you know we got dessert. So 
So they double wrap it, which is a good thing right there. Check that out, guys. Look at that. Let's get this thumbnail. You already know. Let's move this paper out the way. And let's get this thumbnail. That's good enough right there. So yeah, guys. So far, this is looking good. We're going to take it out the wrap now. So we can see what it looks like. Obviously, it's red. And it's a firecracker tortilla. There's the wrap right there, guys. As you can see, it looks like it's pretty loaded. It has the Jimmy Chips in there, which I can see there on top. You got the red jalapeno tortilla. You got turkey, salami, ghost pepper cheese, crushed firecracker Jimmy Chips, garlic aioli, which it looks like it doesn't have a lot of, which is good because I don't want it with too much garlic aioli. You get the Jimmy's peppers, lettuce, onion, tomato, mayo, oil and vinegar, like I said before, in that red jalapeno tortilla, guys. So let's get it, guys. The new firecracker wrap from Jimmy John's. Big bite. Cheers. So as you can see, I took those two big bites, and I was pleasantly surprised. I thought this was going to be so spicy that I was going to have to go for my drink immediately, but it was the actual opposite, which I don't mind. Some people might be upset that it's not super spicy, but for me, that's a good thing. Now, as far as the jalapeno tortilla wrap, I didn't taste any spice in that. So it might be more of a color thing that it's red, but it's not spicy. The other ingredients that are in there were also not as spicy as I thought. What I did get some spiciness from were the firecracker Jimmy chips because those do have a spice in it, but it's not like eating the chips by themselves because all of the other ingredients in here, like the turkey, the cheese, the lettuce and tomatoes, they make the chips really mild. So this is actually a lot milder than what it sounds like. And that's one of the reasons why I'm actually liking this a lot more. So I'm gonna take another couple of bites, guys, and come back with my score and let you know whether I think the firecracker wrap from Jimmy John's is a hit or miss. Cheers, guys. So I finished the Jimmy John's firecracker wrap and it totally exceeded my expectations. I thought I was gonna hate it and give it a low score but it's the complete opposite. It was actually really good, and it's a lot milder than what it sounds like, so don't be scared by the name. I know in the commercial they make it sound like it's gonna be a super spicy wrap, but it's actually a lot milder and really flavorful. I would get it again. So as far as the Jimmy John's firecracker wrap, I'm gonna give it a solid 8.1 out of 10, and it's a hit in my eyes. I would get it again. If you're curious about it, and if you're worried that it might be too spicy, it's not, go give it a shot, guys. You might be surprised in what you see. So now the final item from the Firecracker Feast. Like you already know, guys, we gotta save dessert for last. You can't have dessert first because like your parents said, it will ruin your appetite for your meal. And that is true. So here it is right here. It's the confetti cookie sandwich. And this thing is a decent size. It's really soft. And let's see if this is going to be a hit or miss, guys. And like I said before, you can get this separately. So you don't have to get the firecracker feast. There it is right there. So some of the sprinkles are falling, so be careful. And I'm just gonna see if I can break it in half if it's that soft. It is that soft, guys. Let's spin it around so you can see. Check that out. Look at that, oh yeah. That breaks so easy and soft, look at that. So that's a good sign. That means that it was a fresh cookie. The sprinkles are falling everywhere, so don't eat this thing in your car. And make sure you're eating it at a table. If you eat this on your couch, you're gonna get sprinkles all in between your couch and everywhere. But so far, it's looking good. It's smelling good. And they gave me a fresh cookie because it's super soft. That could vary by location. You might get a hard one, so don't blame it on me. But the one that I got is nice and fresh. So here it is, guys. The confetti cookie sandwich from Jimmy John's. Big bite. Cheers. 
So I finished that half of the confetti cookie sandwich and it was actually pretty good. The vanilla cookie is nice and soft and flavorful. The cream inside is kind of like a whipped kind of cream. So it's not really thick. It's nice and airy. It's not too sugary. My only complaint is that the sprinkles really don't stay on it, but enough sprinkles do stay on it so you can still taste it. I think it's something different. And if you're looking for something out of the ordinary from Jimmy John's, I would pick up the confetti cookie sandwich. I think it's pretty decent. So I'm gonna give the confetti cookie sandwich from Jimmy John's a solid 6.9 out of 10. And for me, it's a hit. If I'm looking for something a little different than their traditional treats and snacks, I will pick up the confetti cookie sandwich. So now, as far as score on the Jimmy John's firecracker feast, I'm gonna have to give it a solid 8.5 out of 10 all day. You get a lot of things in one bundle. They're all the new things that just came out. For $15.99, you get a lot of things. You get the wrap, which is a pretty big one. You get the bag of chips, you get the cookie, and you get a drink. So if you haven't been to Jimmy John's lately, go check out the Firecracker Feast. You won't be disappointed. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the review, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.